Okay, people, I've literally just stopped at Buxford Imperial War, War Museum, as you can see. Um, well, one ten is here. I'm only here because I had a phone call and obviously don't answer the phone while driving, etc, etc. And the buddies who I was going to be coming with today have had a phone call to say that he's running a bit late, sort of thing. I said to him, right, okay, plan is I'm going to head to Billings. When I get near there, start seeing road signs for the actual event, I'll pull over in a lay-by or just stop somewhere, find the nearest supermarket, like a Tesco's or Lidl or an Audi or something, go there, ping them that address, and then they'll follow me, they'll meet me, sorry, there, so we can get fresh meats, etc, to put in the fridges, bearing in mind my fridge has decided to pack up last night, but fear not, improvise, adapt and overcome, and as they say, chance favours the prepared mind, because I have... Tinned goods. The world's smallest little pan. Literally all ready to go. Oh, exciting. I'll update when we're nearer. I think I'm about an hour ish away off the top of my head. Mm. Well, just over. About, I'm about 20 minutes away and there's communication with the outside world. Who are these people? Friends! Well, we're going to be going to the off-road event. Well, um, there's some nice goodies out here actually. I want to try and get that Romanian um, registered, registered um, You're a patrol. Romanian. That's quite nice. But yeah. Got disco view, disco lights. You're in. I need to get a camera of a um, screen off. I don't know where she's pointing us. I've seen that one before. Just point and wave, mate. Point and wave. <laughs> but yeah. How good is it to see Steve get the uh, living daylight scared out of him round the track? Courtesy of the Challenge Southwest. <gasps>
I shut the phone in. Whoops. <laughs> well, after a nice day of billings, we're just packing up. Sorting out a few bits and pieces. That's not mine. Don't like littering, so that's why I got chucked in there. And we're literally going to be going to the little campsite old mate knows about and then set up. Okay, so once again, another good day. One tent is all grubby as we can see. Everyone's had a good day. Literally just sorting out doing vehicle checks before we leave. Going to see about this campsite, wherever it is, and then obviously we'll be going there. Should be interesting because I don't know what's on today's menu. I think on today's menu there is. Big burgers, yuck, chicken, yum, and don't know, don't know. Ooh, mud. Well, it's supposed to be off-roading, as you can see by motors. But I'm currently helping out a buddy try and diagnose a clutch issue while I'm on my own. I think it is because he's got no clutch fluid. Well, we found our little camp spot. Motor's parked up, we've got one guy on the way, we've got waters, I've got my cutlery, sausages are on the go, my um, cooking stuff's over there. We've got some black pudding. Oh yeah, we, we, Al's got some black pudding. Got some eggs, and yes, they are free range. <laughs> Don't do caged. Got some No, because that means they're not burgers. free. And of course, we've got some black pudding. But can't wait to chomp down on this bad boy. Well, our delicious barbecue is ready with our cremated sausages. And, mmm. Ow. Yeah, it's alright. Burn myself. Well, from the last place we was, we had to sort of abandon that. We've now got our dodgy campsite in the middle of nowhere. Dinner's on the go. Yeah, it'll be. Obviously, they weren't. Boom! I don't know if. Um, don't know if. Camera can pick it up, but this is sort of how I'm sleeping. Proper homemade, uncomfortable bed. Cats are clawed it. Don't know what that stain is. That's oil. A very uncomfortable night's sleep. Yeah, hopefully. At least the windows, you know, well, hopefully there's no creepy faces out there. Window tonight. Foot. What's, what's that? Oh, what have I put my foot in? Oh, it's fluff off my socks. Oh, I thought I put my foot in something disgusting. Oh, I've stuck it in oil. Oh. <laughs> It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> oh, oh well. Hopefully have some good night's sleep. Okay, so it's currently 20 to 5 in the morning. <sighs> so I've slept like this. I've just realised that's my sleeping bag. <laughs> oh, James, what you like? So I've been sleeping. <laughs> I'm absolutely freezing. And right next to me is a sleeping bag. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Well, it's morning. Right, it's rain. The time is. I'm just checking the time. Quarter to eight. That's how I slept. Really uncomfortable. Currently. God's sake. got breakfast on the go, burgers and a feast. <coughs> Old mate has slept on the jack. Better for it. Oh. <laughs> Which is really uncomfortable. But yeah, next time I'll make sure my sleeping bag's on standby. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. You're you idiot. Slight bit of development. Um, one of the guys 
clutch is gone, so we're gonna rescue mission him home. I came back to the event to get my purchase, which is a bit heavy to lift up by myself and another person. So obviously, huh? Oh, back in a sec. Well, the rescue attempt is being done over there. That's some poopy hoops. Screwdriver's only in it because it doesn't quite fit on the actual pan very well. But other than that, delish. Well, broke down the, well, just stopped. <clears throat> now, genius idea is using the fuel from the dead car down the jack handle into, da -da -da. A, into a burst water jug. Let's dig it for the recovery vehicle because we're all too poor to afford any fuel. Genius. Hello all, just doing the quick outro to the video. Um, as you can see the sun is setting well in front of me. I just thought I'd do this quickly because I almost forgotten I'm a little bit shattered. Unfortunately I didn't go around day two because of um, obviously one of the guys, the clutch had gone, so the officer's priority was to get him home safe and sound, which he is. Everyone's all happy, everyone's good, all vehicles are good. Um, yeah, next time, I think next one's in September, September so I believe I said to the guys look I'm going either way so I believe they want to go obviously I'll be still doing the off-road as normal but um, yeah I just include all the videos and some of the pictures I've got from today's event and yesterday's obviously someone the phone someone that kept on the um, GoPro and well see you guys at the next one